Isn't it frustrating to see how the rich get richer while the poor get poorer? I think you will agree with me when I say that the rich must know something that the poor doesn't. Access versus liability. This is the key for their wealth. In just a few minutes, you're gonna learn the difference between an access and a liability and why rich people choose access first. This is something that a school doesn't teach because they want you to depend on the government they don't want you to be free to do as you please. But I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna share with you the two most common fake assets that are draining your pocket. Let me avoid you the biggest mistake that you can make. Also, let me share with you some real access that you can get. The biggest causes of poverty and economic problems are ignorance, and fear. Neither the economy, not the government, not the rich people are guilty. If you want to be rich, you must receive financial education. Period. Before you continue, let me tell you the advantages of watching my videos on my webpage. First, I break down my videos on the most important bullet points and their time, so you can watch the specific parts that you want to watch. Second, my content is separated by modules, so if you want to find them easily, you have them well classified on my front page, not to mention that you have my content on video, audio and written format. Third, I do not put ads on my web page, neither on my content, so you can enjoy it without interruptions. And to continue doing that, I need your collaboration. Don't forget to grab a copy of my free ebook. Thanks a lot for the help and enjoy the video. What is a liability? A liability is anything that takes money out of your pocket. In other words, anything that costs you money but that never returns you that money or even worse, that reduce its value the moment you buy it or with time, this can be even worse. You can have a liability that costs you money and keep costing you money with time over and over again. These are definitely the worst liabilities that you can have, but take into consideration that some liabilities are necessary. The rich acquire access while the poor and middle class acquire liabilities that they consider access. Let's see some examples of liabilities that look like access. Access versus liability. Who is the bad guy? Sometimes it's really difficult to determine who is the bad guy. Sometimes it's difficult to know the correct answer. This is because all liabilities can trick us. They can dress up as access while they are liabilities, so you must be really careful. First one, your house. Yeah, your house is your biggest liability, the house in which you live. Now you can say to me, but Guillermo, that doesn't have any sense, has it? 
let's explain this a little bit more carefully. If we come from the base that a liability is anything that takes money from your pocket but never put it in, if this is our definition for a liability, answer me these questions. Does your house cost you money? <laughs> Obviously, yes. So a house takes money from your pocket but never put it in. First part of the equation, check. Second question, does your house cost you money or give you money every month? Again, obviously it costs you money every month because you have to pay for the mortgage, you have to pay the taxes, you have to pay the bill of water, of electricity. If you have a garden, you have to pay the gardener. If you decide that someone cleans it up, you have to pay every month that person for keeping your house clean. You have to pay for security, if something breaks, you have to pay it, and the list can go on and on and on and on. And the bigger the house, the bigger is gonna be your monthly spend. Know that a house is a liability only if you live in it. AK, it costs you money every month, but doesn't give it back. But if you rent that house instead of living it, the situation changes. Second liability, your car. Yes, if we speak in a pure economical way, your car is one of the worst liabilities there is. But why? Let's do the same that we did before with the house, okay? Does your car cost you money? Yes, obviously, yes. But even worse, it reduces value the moment you buy it. And the more time you use it, and the more time you have it, it will continue to reduce its value farther and farther. Except if your car is an exclusive collection item, then it's a different thing. Does your car give you money or cost you money? It costs you money, obviously. In fact, it costs you a lot of money. Every month you have to pay the insurance, you have to pay the taxes, you have to pay the gas. If the car broke, you have to pay for the mechanic, etc. As you can see, your car costs you a lot of money. So by definition, it's not an access, it's a liability. This doesn't mean that you can't turn a liability into an access, but that we are going to see in other posts, okay? This is the reason why some rich people end up bankruptcy because they don't know the difference between an accident and a liability. They keep acquiring more and more liabilities, thinking that they are access. This is exactly what happens to medium and poor class. So no one, absolutely no one is safe from this mistake, unless you know the difference between an access and a liability. A person can have a solid academic preparation and professional success and still lack financial education. What is an access? An access is anything that puts money on your pocket. In other words, anything that has value, that generates income or that increases its value over time and for which there is a constant market willing to buy it at any time. Anything that you buy once and that gives you money while maintaining its value over time or even increasing its value. When doing a comparison of access versus liabilities, there can be some misconceptions, as we have seen before. So, in order to avoid this error, let's see what Roberts consider as access. These are examples of good access. Let's go. Businesses that doesn't require your presence. You are the owner of the business, but other people manage them for you. If you have to work there, then it is not a business. If you have to go, it becomes your job. Stocks, bonds, real estate that generate income, promissory note, and author rights in intellectual property, such things as music, scripts, and patterns. An asset put money on your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. Having more money readily is the solution for your financial problems. 
Financial intelligence is the solution. How to start your path to wealth, access versus liability. I think I have already answered this, but let's make this crystal clear, okay? If you want to be rich, there is only one thing that you need to do, and only one, acquire access, not liabilities. It's that simple. I am not saying that you need millions in order to start, okay? You can start at any level. And you will ask me, but Guillermo, where do I start? Well, the first thing that you need to do is to understand the difference between an access and a liability. And you already know this, so you are on the good track. In fact, you are ahead of most people. Now that you have some basic knowledge, you need to acquire more knowledge, okay? But remember, you have to use it. If you don't use what you learn, then it's useless. Remember that. Take into consideration that for people that have financial education, making an investment is not that risky. It's not as risky as it might seem. In fact, making a good investment is basically the art of acquiring real access. If you don't learn more and educate yourself, what is going to happen is that you are going to work your ass off your whole life in order to pay taxes to the government. You will make someone else rich and you will have to pay to the bank a lot of interest in your debts. So when are you going to get paid? You are going to be the last one to get paid. If there is any left for your own work, are we crazy? I don't know you, but definitely that sounds mad to me. Remember, the greatest wealth lies in what you know, and therefore, what you don't know is the greatest risk that you can take. Look, contingencies might always appear, and therefore, it is best that you learn how to manage risk instead of just avoid it. The best possible way that you can do to avoid this bad situation is that you educate yourself about money. One of the best ways to start educating yourself is with this book, Rich That Poor That. Money is in Spanish, but anyways. <laughs> if you are prepared to be flexible, to keep an open mind and to learn, it will be easier for you to become richer despite of the ruthless of the changes. But if you believe that money will solve your problem, you will face many difficulties. Intelligence solves problems and produces money. But money without financial intelligence is money that disappears soon. If you are on my webpage, you have the book at the bottom. And if not, you should. <laughs> You also have it on the description below. But let me ask you something. Do you want to have the best teachers of all time as your personal mentors? If you want that, just access to my personal library in which I share the books that have shaped my life. Of course, this one is included. If you are on my web, just click the banner at the bottom of the page. And if not, just click in the description of the video. Thank you. Test person liability. What is the conclusion? But it is all going to be about increasing your assets while reducing your expenses? No. If you do that, you are as a slave to money as anyone else. And that's what we are trying to avoid, right? But don't worry, I have some light for you. As your cash flow increases, you can start to afford some luxuries. The big difference between rich people and middle class and poor people is that the rich, the last thing that they acquire are luxuries, while middle class and poor people, they acquire luxuries first. The best way to start your path to wealth is by acquiring some financial knowledge. And definitely, there is no better way than to start with this book.